But yes, you don't have to do it. Uh, thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Khalil, for the claim codes. You guys keep them coming as we keep moving towards our first match. Junanago versus Fuyuhiko. We'll have to see how this one goes. Junanago rocking the lab court, a character who I think really benefited from this patch simply because she just gets more combo routes. You know, that beam now being super dash follow upable is huge for her because of how great she is the corner carry in the first place. Another root to extend that from is ridiculous. TN on the point position though. Interesting from Fuyuhiko, definitely unconventional for what you see in his usage, but a 5M starter is definitely not unconventional for TN. Huge damage and the corner already taken. That health bar already melting. Of course, the bad news here is we're not going to see uh, that new Bardock that we were so looking forward to. But hey, a TN point is just as unconventional. Unfortunately, didn't keep that uh, corner pressure right there. Junanago manages to escape. No Dragon Rush to finish that. The Oh my goodness, the 6M and the assist just sliding his time. Didn't get that, but got the command grab instead. Switches out to the TN recover. That little bit of blue health. And it's a Gogeta mirror. I have no assist available for you. He goes there and he does actually eat the raw lariat. There's a special C change as well because here comes Lav Coat. As said, amazing carry on the screen. We'll go for the lifesteal. I respect that. Now tapping away with the auto combo into the command grab behind the barrier. A mix up tried and tested by so many different players. And there you go. The beam super dash and we're almost to the corner already. Yes, now we're sir. in the corner. We Ridiculous. Yeah. Corner level three okay. Oh, sparking bait, and whoo -hoo for you, Hiku holds that spark. The neutral jump and the hit to deny Junanago any sort of pressure right there. Dragon Rush and not enough meter to finish it, but enough to keep up the pressure. And Junanago is the first one to spark. He keeps up the pressure. Sparks back for you, Hiku. It's a sparking battle. The Junanago spark already over. Good tack on the Dragon Rush. And now it's for you, uh, Spark, that's going to end. Sparkless game from here on out as Junanago finds the hit on GT Goku. Oi, was GT Goku too small for Labcourt's 5M to hit from the barrier? Because barrier hit the super dash and she just 5M nothing. <laughs> Literally, it benefits of being the smallest character in the game right there for Fuyu. But he still gets pushed into the corner right now, tapping away. And this time, the Dragon Rush goes through successfully. It yeah, might have been the, the super dash angle too, but you're right. Yes. Yeah, so, oh my goodness. We do those uh -oh. wrong. He got out of the corner. I mean, that's not going to catch him because the spirit bomb is kind of low, but did gain the corner pressure. Call the assist and got the mix too. Bro, this, is, this is the most expensive mix up ever. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just a mix, it's a way to get out of the corner too, right? I mean, yeah, this is true. I the and the mix, fact there's a got setup behind it is insane. Reverse mix up. <laughs> no, it's not your turn. It's my turn. Reclaiming it. Fuyuhiko goes right back into the driver's seat and gets that lariat as well. Nice extension. Two bars already built. He's going to be able to take this all the way to the corner. Special Z change. Ah, too much hist on the kick. Couldn't build the third bar to secure the kill. Yeah, going to jail there. And we'll go all those armor points. I mean, when do you press the button? You don't. You got to hold all of that. And the Dragon Rush this time. Do not go. He's not going to attack it. And Fuyuhiku in the 3v1 situation looking really good to take that first game. And importantly, of course, Club Crew, this is a first to three now. You are fighting for your life at every stage of the way. Not a lot of time to adapt if you want to move on in the one of bracket here. So. For you, he can in a great position. Four balls on Janago's side, and he gets tagged by the beam in the air from full screen. Another extension thanks to Beam Super Dash here will give for you, he the corner with two assists backing him up. This is going to be really rough. Super Dash? No confirm. <laughs> and ran with a Kamehameha. Missed completely because uh, the uptech just dodged it. Still Super Dash, still caught him. And Janago finds his way out of the corner there. Gonna finish off this GT Goku. No more rats. This is a problem character for sure. And Junanago will be happy to get rid of him. Still a long way to come back. But that is a good, good start right there.
I think killing GT is huge as well because uh, I think Android 17 loves the ground the best. And, you know, GT Goku is just a character who can stay in the air and dominate that part of the screen forever. So now we're playing some grounded war right here. Vanish Guard cancel on both sides. Double dash isn't going to work out. Mario Kart not being played just yet. Oh, no! It's, one... it's on the other side! <laughs> he actually gets to kill as well. What happened? This is what happened with uh, Noka and Gropus. Like, six months ago, I'm getting flashbacks. Dunk, where are you? Level one from Genanico, and it's a 1v1. Wrong side, bro. And suddenly, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Might still be a two-touch here for Junanago. I mean, uh, killing with one touch here is going to be mad hard. And in the meantime, for Yuhiko, only needs one to finish it. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! Street Fighter jump in. Three bars already built. Even with the level one, level three change, that won't be enough. So Junanago is going to keep one bar left in his pocket to try and gamble it all on the EX. What does he do? <gasps> EX overhead connects. I don't believe it. After a ridiculous, unfortunate level three miss, Fuyuhiku loses the bag where it mattered most. And Junanago makes a comeback, which, let's be honest, Globku, we didn't think was possible. No. Not for real. With that GT Goku still alive, we didn't think it was possible. Once that GT Goku goes down, you're like, still hard, but maybe can do it. And then that level three misses, and you're like, okay, this is this is actually doable now. Dude, Nanago starting us off with an incredible comeback. What a set. And the fake out with a Chiaotzu. For you, he could not shake the fight that loss at all. Man says, nah, nah, we're getting back into it. I absolutely love that change because essentially you can just reset the Chaozu miss timer by making him fake it anyway. Like it does actually add layers to that move. And for you, he could use it nicely there. Junanico though, fighting right back despite that false start. Spends the spark very early, I will say, but makes good use of it. Three bars already built. Fuyuhiko forced into a spark of his own. A very, very aggressive exchange from both of them in this first game. I like uh, dropping the block string into panic spin. <laughs> very good stretch by Junanago, but did not work out. Dragon Rush is gonna get dropped, and that character is gonna get to live. 21 stays alive. In comes Gogeta. Very healthy now. Oh my. The reverse. Huh? Just the three bars. And the low, and that's enough. Oh Bro. my goodness. Uh, yeah, Fuyuhiko was the master of spending three balls and getting a kill out of it just by mixing after it. It's ridiculous from him, and there goes the first character. Gogeta is out of there. Shoutouts to man like Axis in the background, by the way. Raider 36, much love to you all. You joined us at the right time because Wanted Bracket has just started. Now it's a 3v2 for you. He calls using the assist. Spin comes out from Chinanago, no success. And we go back to full screen. But both of these characters can explode out of the scene at any moment. Just like that, there's the beam. Get the extension and lab codes out of there. Old school extension with advantage. You can do super dash right now, but uh, it is uh, a bit harder to confirm into it. EX to start off the round. You always got to look out for that one. Ooh, unfortunately, 17 too high there uh, to convert with a 2M. Let me add a quick shout out to, to Easy Man, who rated us before with 42 viewers. Shout out to my guy who was watching your stream earlier. Your run uh, was a good one to watch. Unfortunately, did not make it today, but hey, we're watching Junanago. You gotta watch uh, the, the one that beat us every time. They, they carry you in spirit from that point on. That's how it goes in every tournament. I lost to you, you're gonna win this, man. You have to. I'm on your side now. It's like just pointing to the, him and saying, you're next, avenge me. I'll have to see if it works out. Ooh, the record then going into the Dragon Rush works out. And this is how it started last time. GT Goku crumbling and then dying led to a comeback. Junanago a little bit less health to work with this time though. A lot more meter, level one and level three will obliterate TN no matter what touch it happens here. Let's find it's out what he gets. Long for me. I mean, I, I, I feel like I've seen this movie before. I've seen this exact movie before, just one set ago. But this time, there's no comeback story. This time, the hero will fall. Connect. <gasps> Did I just curse this whole thing? Blobku, stop oh, messing with the oh, script. Oh, oh, oh no, oh wait. Oh, wait. 
Vegeta versus 17. Two characters that Junanigo is very well acquainted with. For you, Hiko trying to go in there with them. Junanigo into the 2M. The Shin Breaker is what gets the kill in the end, and it is 1 1. But for a moment, I think you and I shared the exact same thought. Let's be honest. <laughs> I couldn't take the responsibility, man. I couldn't take it. <laughs> Too much power. Too much power. Woo! All right. Oh. Ryuhiku is gonna tie us up one to one in the set. It is a first to three uh, before we move on to a first to five against Noko. So this set could be over really, really soon. Uh, I, I like that Fuyuhiku strikes back. Fuyuhiku played a very good first game. Epic comeback from Junanago for sure. But it's like after that game, you both need to get on the board. I don't want to see a 3 0. Absolutely, but that is the problem because it's such a fast game. You know, one uh, you're used to those sets that last a very long time because it's just, you know the high win um, requirement. First to three, not necessary. Like if you get your strategy changed even in the slightest, you can get blown away by it. So adaptation here very quickly, I like. Although Junanigo is definitely the one causing the wild card here because for you, he go nearly losing twice in a situation he had under control. Definitely got to calm down a bit. Well, it's calming down in the corner right now. So, uh, gonna go to the corner, sit there for a little bit, get stepped on by uh, 21. Gonna hold that spark for now and matches out of it! Oh my goodness, he found the gap. Found the gap, mashed it out, and ooh, yeah, spin. Is this actually enough? The meter nerf is there? Nah, it's gonna finish with a simple knockdown. One more mix. Tags out of it. Saves the spark once again. For you, Hiko, really holding on to that. I really rate Junago going for that special Z change there by using spin so that you can take the Ooh. corner. But it's coming back to bite him because now that he's the one in the corner blocking, it's all coming down. A 5M after a blocked uh, guard cancel attempt from Junanigo will see some huge damage here. Three bars already built. Dragon Rush is tech. Nice defense from Junanigo. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. That was sick! Junanigo intercepts with a beautiful air to air there, and he does get Android 17 back out. But what a way to do it! The, the jumping medium only hits if Fuyu Hiku goes for that often, right? So just like that, Junanago making one hell of a read and catching it with that jumping M, converting it immediately. Beautifully done. But even that didn't save him from getting uh, Junanago back into the corner. Fuyu Hiku going to spend the cash right now. It's not a TOD, but it's close. May as well be by using TN. But there we go. That level three always there to finish the job, and that will bring it to a three versus two right now. Seriously, for you, Hiko, great capitalization to take Junanigo, push it to the corner, and get it back on his side. The Dragon Rush connect, and we go back once again. Three bars already built, gets the knockdown with Gogeta, stuck in the corner, and you're gonna have to hold this. I would not be surprised, Goku, if we see a spark right here. Yeah. To definitely go for it, or maybe, yeah, just hold on to the spark because of the limit break buff. And, you know, at this point, you're so close to getting the spark with a character that is so healthy in the back, so might as well risk it. And risked it, did uh, Junana go right there with saving the spark, managing to tag out, and tags the 17 back in as enough meter to finish this. Level 1. Does he need another one? Nah, not even that. One bar, baby. And just like that, it's a two-on-two -two situation, and Junana go with Sparking Blast now. Basically already turned things around. I'd say the health advantage is definitely still on Fuyuhiko's side, but with Spark ready to pop at any moment, Junanigo really could turn the tides here. He has the corner pressure. You can't do that against Android 17. Tried and tested by Junanigo, by Asha, by so many 17 players. Beautiful EX to catch there, and now it's a 2v1. This is some composure from Junanigo right now, and I'm here for it. Goku anchor. See what the rap boy can pull off now. Can definitely jail with that reverse Kamehameha. Won the neutral there. Good tech from Junanago and punishes the jump in. Good old 2H to anti air. The jump in from GT Goku. Solid extension there. Not going to build enough meter for the level three. So going to settle for a level one here. Into another one. And wants to play Gogeta to finish things off. With that 17 assist in the back. Ooh, mashes out of it. 
Uh, for you, he goes, says no. Three of bars already built. Not gonna be enough, but could really put Junanago in a tight spot here if he finds a way to get this Gogeta out with the post level three mix. Huge damage incoming. Enough bar for one EX to gamble all. What's he gonna do? Let's find out. Incoming. Locks a spark, but there's not enough range. It doesn't connect though. One more chance. It's two touches. Oh, no. Already the third touch is gonna do it. It's a dragon rush. No tech from Fuyuhiko and Junanago pulls ahead once again in the set. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate as well because I think like it was actually the right idea for him to press there, but not with GT Goku because those buttons yeah. they, they don't go far. Like it's just like eh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> they did it right to get out of the corner there with GT Goku. That match was impressive. You know, every time I'm saying, "Wow, it mashed out of there!" Like that's actually I I wish I could do that. I wish I could choose the right time to mash it. For you, he could does does it. Mashing is a skill. You he could does it consistently. Picking the right moment is absolutely essential, to be fair, and so far we've seen a good demonstration of that from both players. Fuyu Hiko right now needing to get this set to work out in his favor. There's no more chances. It's set point already, unbelievably so, and Junanago is still piling the pressure on with the overhead into the command grab after the string, and we go back to the corner with an assist already built. Very strong from Junanago here in this opening. Auto combo to keep him locked down in the corner. For Yuhiko having a block, an early spark once again. I respect it, and he catches him. This is huge. He does get that build a lot of bar with TN. Yeah, caught him with that late overhead. Gonna go for a knockdown situation here. Dragon Rush level three. Use it to tag in the Gogeta. I wonder what the plan with TN point is, really, because I, I feel like for Yuhiko is tagging out the TN as soon as possible, so it might be that meter build position that you were talking about. It builds the meter with TN, tags in Gogeta as soon as possible. You know, will rather play the other two as the point characters, but needs that TN to build the meter up first. Maybe that's the plan. To be fair, like, TN's anchor capabilities are, like, what's always lauded, but he's really good at point because, especially with that volleyball fist change where you gain meter for doing precise inputs on the light and medium and the heavy as well, it's just not talked about. Um, right. And other things like that, especially in Spark, he really can build you a huge amount of meter. So I think for you, has got the right idea. It's just unconventional. And speaking of the right idea, a combo here that builds the 7 4. Lab codes out of here. This is the game that I said for you needed if you really want to show that you had a chance to get the win in this set, because there goes LabCorp, and it's just Android 17 once again, but Globku, you said it last game, I'm going to say it again. We've seen this movie before. We've seen this movie before, and I think this is the sequel, because now Junanago has Sparking Blast on 17, and I don't think he had that on the prequel. So this sequel is looking even saucier, and you know what? This first combo might look good for Fuyuhiku, but I don't think it changes things that much. Oh, he's, he's hard baiting the spark there. He really oh, wants boy. to ensure Junanico does not get a successful activation right now. Back to full screen, playing a very patient game. There's the assist, and the moment he gives him a chance, Junanico goes for the spark. Rekka hitting raw. Oh, this is going to be big damage. Oh my god, the Rekka hitting raw. Anti reflect tech 2. Not only damage, but meter build as well. The vanish. Man thinks he can kill, and he could! Level 1 into level 3 would be enough! Unfortunately dropped, but fortunately picks it back up, and that ends up being a cost-saving measure. Man said rent is too high nowadays. I can't be spending meter like that. We gotta save everywhere we can. And save he did, and he gets the opening on TN as well! And suddenly, suddenly, sir, it's a 1v1! Again, Junanago is doing it! Again! And Sparking is starting a die out on for you. Hiku does have the bar advantage, those seven bars to work with. And we know uh, uh, GT Goku loves his double supers no matter what. Staggering away. There is so much life on Junanico's side, but I'm being fully honest. I don't think it's enough. He goes for he this. Kill. No, he could kill. Level one spirit bomb? Plus level one? Can he Dragon get it? Can another get one? Dragon Rush again! Oh, this level one kill. That's the question, though. It's highly skilled and it's not enough. Oh. That was hot. That was hot. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> so you need seven dreams. bars to kill there, basically, right? Like you basically needed to do level one, level three, Dragon Rush level three. That's the only way you would have killed. 
that would have been pretty much the only way. Like, you needed everything on the plate, ready to spend at a moment's notice, and it just wasn't there. Still, pretty much as optimal, I think, as you could have gotten in that situation. Yeah. But for Yuhiko, managing to keep his composure when it didn't get uh, the result he needed, gets the overhead, and we've got a final game in this first of three, folks. One more round between Trinanico and Fuyuhiko to decide who advances on to fight Noka. But what a game it's been so far in just four short <laughs> rounds. Went for the double overhead setup, but Junanago getting opened up by the first one. That means the second one's gonna whip, and then that was a bit of a scramble situation. Fuyuhiko's gonna take full advantage of that and say, This lab coach does not play in game five. Get her out of here. Absolute shutdown of that character is huge because Junanago's been using her so well for screen control and positioning. A great start for his TM here with three bars already built Doron Ray into the vanish and he gets caught on the mash. Junanigo is being caught out here, but unfortunately a drop and Junanigo fires back immediately. He gets the extension and this is what he needs. He wants to stop bringing it back, but he drops. Globku, it's all coming no, together. He needed, that. he needed that. He needed that for sure. Unfortunate drop. And that, that shakes the man to his core. <laughs> it's, it's too much. One can only take too much. Gonna tag into Gogeta, level 3 Oki, barking bait into the command grab, but I think it was too far. I think even if the raw tag didn't happen, that was too far. The last hits of the CSS clipped him? Oh my word, I don't believe it! For you, Hiku finds a miraculous extension there of that CSS right when he needs it most. Three bars already built. The 2L knocking on the door and it doesn't open in time. Junanigo is under threat right now because the fourth bar is already built. And with Tien, this is enough. Clones right here on this side. More clones here on this side. Nope, just a single Tien. And in comes the GT Goku. Wants to put the boy back in point. And now Junanigo for the first time with an anchor Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta instead of a 17. I haven't seen this movie before. I'm interested though. That's I've been it. That one kill. Oh, Janana goes in a good spot right here. You just have to get this as quick as possible. Find a way to get that GT Goku out of here because he can't. Oh, you have to, but I don't know if it's enough. No, it's not. Man was improvising as he went. But that was not enough for a kill, and instead it's a drop, and it's a drop that might cost him. That's gonna spend so much sparking time right now. Level one, level one, into level three, and this level three does not freeze time whatsoever, so that's all sparking time, and it doesn't matter! Man is gone, Junanago, with the Alt F4 tech, and Fuyuhiku is on to the next set, the first to five against Noka, but very well played from both. Extremely well played. Yeah.